Good afternoon everyone. My name is Whitney Munnan, technical agronomist for Channel Seed, and I'm here in Kentucky and it's that time of year. Time to be out post spraying our beans and corn and invariably that means sometimes agronomic issues start happening when we start doing said spraying. So we're out here in a bean field today investigating what we think um, is potentially some herbicide injury to the field. Um, more specifically, tank contamination. So when you're evaluating a chemical injury in the field, always remember that man makes straight lines, biology often makes circles and different shapes. So out here in this field today, we are looking for differences in the level of injury. And we find ourselves here actually at the edge of the field where our farmer would have started making his spray application. Here we are finding some really severe injury to our soybean plants. So you can see we have some necrotic tissue, um, some twisting, some malformation, some bud proliferation um, on that main stem. And we're seeing some evidence of some burn um, consistent potentially with either a PPO chemistry or potentially with atrazine, uh, potentially left in the tank from when he was spraying corn. So when you're out doing evaluations of field, fields for chemical injury, you're always looking for the symptoms, you're looking for the signs, and don't forget to look for the patterns out in the field. So thank you today for joining us for a quick agronomy break and looking at some chemical injury in our soybeans.